Cameo. Cameo. Hey, hey, yeah, Cameo. Hey, hey, hey. Whoa, whoa. Shut that down, man. Too strong for YouTube. Too strong for YouTube. Don't let it Yeah. Incline dumbbell presses. All right. And we're going to work up to a heavier weight. I normally like to start a little bit lighter than what my working weight is, just in case. Like something feels off or anything, I'd rather it feel off when the weight is lighter than when I'm at my working weight. So we're gonna just get some 70s in real quick. All right, so what helps get more chest activation? Uh, a lot of times when the weight gets heavier, come on over. A lot of times. When the weight gets heavier, we want to lift our back or our back comes up. So you want to think of pinning yourself into like any machine. In this particular case, it's the incline. I want to think of pinning myself in here and then pressing up. That's going to activate your chest more instead of like heaving it. All right, so we're going to do four sets. We'll start with these. Hopefully it feels good and then we'll move up from there. shirt on. You know what it is. King game. When I'm doing compound movements, I like to not have to like worry about a spotter because nine times out of ten, I don't have a spotter. But also, when you have a spotter like consistently or someone like not necessarily a spotter, but someone pulling the weight up. Like, you guys know what I'm talking about. Someone's pulling the weight up for you. You never really know where your strength is at, all right? For example, if Jeff right now was, like, touching my elbows the whole time and moving it, it's going to help me get more reps. But I'm not going to be able to know, like, next time I come in, I might go for the same weight and I can't hit it. And I'm like, you know what happened? Last week, I was able to do these easy. Because he was probably knocking off five or ten pounds off of it. So that's just my opinion. You guys could do whatever you want. Come on, let's work. Easy work. Let's go, Josh. Easy work. Josh was just saying, like, he's you hit those before easily. He's, get, he's being a little humble right now. He's getting ready for a photo shoot. Yeah. All right, so uh, what were you just saying right now? Like how it was? Yeah, strains that come together is up and down, you know? So a couple months ago, I was hanging those for like seven or eight. They only got two. It's easy to like get down on yourself. They got weaker, but throughout the process, you know, you'll have peaks and lows and just keep going. It always comes back. So. Yeah, like everybody thinks like through weightlifting, especially if you're new to it, like, your strength is gonna start skyrocketing and you're gonna start getting a big head. You're gonna start thinking like, man, all these other dudes, man, they haven't they haven't progressed in years and I'm going up 20, 25 pounds in like two months. But there comes a time, like Josh said, where you're gonna be, you know, you're gonna have highs, you're gonna feel great, and you're gonna have lows. So like on this next set, this is our fourth set, probably wanna drop it a little bit just so we can get the reps in. Uh, but that's it, let's get this rep. Hope you guys are enjoying these little uh, tidbits and uh, clips of this, this raw footage 
uh it seems you know i'm getting a lot of feedback that you guys are enjoying these so maybe more of these to come uh with some more uh you know some more friends or or even clients that would like to train uh but we just finished up this particular workout uh with some flies some uh, lat raises and also of course gotta hit some bicep curls uh, but i just want to thank you guys for watching and following the channel um let me know what workout you guys want to see next like if there's a particular muscle group you guys want to see next you want to see a full back day a full leg day um just let me know in the comments uh thank you guys so much for watching uh, don't forget to like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next video